We have a brand new Discord server, a virgin Discord server, only a few days old. If you haven't been there, would you consider clicking on the link and coming along and helping us boost the numbers? Every one of you counts. Thank you. Thank you for your support. So, we are playing Turbo Outrun Reimagined today, and this is on the PC. I got this from itch.io. The link where you can get this will be in the video description below. Let us, let us go on a journey together. So this game, oh, and if you haven't actually subscribed to this channel as well, as well as Discord, could you please click on the subscribe link? If you have subscribed, please double check your subscription is still active. Once in a while, YouTube likes to drop them off. So yes, this game is available on itch.io. We are playing version 040 of this. Full disclosure, I played a version quite a few months ago, and I did not like it. Now, maybe I was in a bad mood that day. I really, really don't know. But I fired up this version because I do look at games that I don't like and then come back to them and see how they've progressed. And holy hell, this was great. So we have to be showing this on the channel. I'm already enthusiastic about this before we start it off. You can see on the screen, basically, it's a work in progress. So, you know, all these things are, are, are going to be there, you know, issues and stuff like that. But it doesn't detract from the game. This is a love letter to outrun it absolutely truly is so skids production presents a sega fan game turbo outrun reimagined you've got like a demo soundtrack in the background as well from old video game demos and stuff like this so yeah this bit all hangs together so far you can see we're running version 040 and in the notes on the release notes for this the author has said if he wants feedback you know if there's stuff you don't like let him know pass the information on so from my point of view and you can recognize those good old sounds in the background from my point of view when i went through the options and holy hell there is so many options there the one thing that seemed to be missing or i couldn't see was scan lines i would love to have scan lines on this to make it look a little bit older so that's my first bit of feedback so far and maybe the only bit of feedback but let's go on a journey together so we're going to start the game and we've got original arcade or cruising we're going to have a look at them all we're going to have a look at them all so this is a race where we've got to beat an opponent and an opponent even we've got to beat an opponent here put my bloody teeth in and we're going to select that to go difficulty well we're going to do the the intermediate one i think might as well do that and we have a choice of cars this one here this looks like it's a sprite lifted from the original video game but look at this you could change the color of it and then we've got another car and again you could change the color and another car and you could change the color and by the beard of god another car and you could change the color so yes we've got all these cars available to us we are going to select this one boom there we go and look at this for all of you that know when i play games i'm not an octopus i'm absolutely poor at doing gear controlling games so the only one we're going to be doing is the auto change and the guy to my left is saying have you considered subscribing to the channel if you haven't please do so it will really help this channel grow he's gone now all right so we're going to do the automatic gears that you've got here and these people come on and this game has got further modifications we've got abs and traction control well i need all the help that i can get probably in driving in games so we're just going to select this and then finally there is one more option that is coming up and we've basically got all these choices for songs. So you know what? Let 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 let's let's do magical sound, shall we? Know that one, I think. If we've played out, run, boom, there we go. Well, let's see if you've got what it takes to beat me, huh? So this is Mr. X, who we are going to be racing. And here we go. We're ready. We're ready to go. Let's us doing the fossil there. And off we go. There we go. We're in the lead so far. It won't last long. It will not last long. Oh, and he's overtaken already. But we do have a turbo, I think. There we go. So, as I say, yeah, there's graphics here. You will recognise. You know, it will look familiar. But it's new as well. And this is on the PC. This is on the PC that we're playing this. And it's a, it's basically a reimagination. As the, oh, oh dear Lord, holy hell, I've crashed so well. It's a reimagination of the turbo outline of... Uh, the original game with lots of other modes here. So we've got a bit of catching up to do here. And look at that, we're going under the clouds here. And now we're getting pissed on by the rain. We haven't got the canopy up of the car, so there we go. We're going to be a little bit damp and moist. Moist is a strange word, isn't it? Here's my... Oh, oh holy hell, we didn't expect that. Good Lord. Here's my challenge for you. What I want you to do today, after you've watched this video, 
to anybody that you live with, you know, you work with, that you see, it doesn't really matter. I want you to get the word moist into the conversation as many times as possible so they pick up that you're using the most awkward word possible, which is moist. Because, you know, in UK, in the greatest of Great Britain, we have a lot of damp, moist weather. You could probably say that women sometimes feel moist. You could probably say that men feel moist on tops of their heads as well. So there you go. You've got a couple of excuses, a couple of reasons where you can use that. But yes, get the word moist into as many conversations as you can. And I have just realized, you know, as we're moistly going along this road, how far behind we are this rival. You know, we ain't going to beat him. We ain't going to beat him. But we're just going on the little racing journey that we are. Let's steer around here. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. I should not have done that bloody crash. Oh, was that a mini we just ran there? Yeah, th th this is <laughs> fun. It, it, it feels like it feels like you're playing Outrun as well. You know, they, 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 they've nailed it. They've actually nailed it in terms of what it feels like, how it handles, you know, the way the graphics appear as well. Um, and, and, and the look of the graphics as well. Oh, look, look, there's, there's another me. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you crash? Did you get rammed off the road? All right, there was only one person in that car, though. So, you know, he can get moist on his own where these two people can get moist together. Oh, we're catching up, we're catching up. I think, oh, holy hell, we are catching up. And we shortcutted a little bit off the course. Come on, brake, brake, brake. Oh, I need, a, I need a turbo, I need a turbo. How far, how far? Oh, no, 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 no. Food, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, there's the rival. There is the rival. He is going to be pissed. Oh, yes, we did it. I'm sorry. Oh, no, fuck you. Sorry, language, language. Enthusiasm, excitement. Oh, he shouldn't have overtaken there. That's a bit naughty, isn't it? Oh, you are kidding me. You are absolutely tugging on my bells. Mother hell. We run out of lives. Just to, would you believe this? We run out of lives at the end. Hello, name is Frank. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, what are you talking about? Oh dear lord! There's things that could be wrong with the car. Okay, uh, yeah, so let, 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 let's let's do some replacing. I have no idea what's going on here. Uh, okay, uh, I really, really don't know. We're, we're upgrading our car. Your engine has some slight wear, nothing to worry about. Ignition system is working fine oil is almost halfway through its life cycle okay so we probably want to install that have we done that uh i don't know whether we've done it oh look we've got 18 minutes left to do stuff hang on oh there right right you have to hit return ha! you've got to hit return on these things okay we've got 20 minutes left what can we do uh Okay, uh, yeah, let, let's do that. All right, done. All right, so we didn't beat the rival. We've got to have another go. Let's select Passing Breeze. No, let's do Splash Wave. All right, let's try again. Yes, let's try again. Hmm, I can't believe we lost it in that fashion. Yeah. There, look at us fly, look at us fly, and look at him fly. Cock, utter cock. Alright, we've got to hold this together. This is actually quite stressful. Uh, we could have picked the basic challenge, we didn't do that, but no, this is quite stressful. Look at him fly, and he's flown, he's gone, he's utterly bloody gone. That crash didn't help us, that crash didn't really help us. And there was a turn that we shagged up as well, which got to us very, very quickly. But no, let's keep going. Let's keep going. We're a bit moist now because of that rain. There's that word again. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, you, you shit sticks. Okay, we're getting rained on again. We are rained on again. And we're positioned two of two. Come on, come on. Look at the motorbike. We passed a Sega hang-on motorbike just there. 
I hope you saw that. We're going so fast. Now there's a the thing, motorcyclists, they must get really moist in all the levers they're wearing as well and damp and a little bit um, embarrassed with the, the, the wet patches they get. Right, here we go, here we go, look at the sun. Okay, there's another motorbike up ahead. Get a close look at the moist rider as he rides into the sunset sunrise whatever's going on oh you fuckhead oh i'm so sorry about my language it's the enthusiasm get into me because this is great this really is great oh my ignition system is malfunctioning lovely lovely so that means if we make it to the end we've got something else that we need to repair here but yeah this is a a new outrun experience on the pc it really really is um and it's a good one it is a good one Right, okay. There's the rival. Hello. Hello, my friend. Come on, hang together, hang together. Oh, you bugger. You utter bugger. Focus, focus, focus. He drives so well. He drives so well. I ain't gonna do the turbo on a bloody curve. Well, I did it on that curve, but it's not gonna be on the full curve. Oh, yes, we did it, we did it. Close one, well done, pal. You won't be so lucky next time. So, we can, we can do things, we can do things. All right, okay. So, your ignition system is over, your brakes are overheated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, okay, there we go. There we go. All right, so we need to fix things. We need to fix things. Uh, yeah, so we want to fix that. And uh, brakes as well. There was something, oh, what else was wrong? Here we go, uh, no. I'm sure there was something else that was wrong as well. You know what? Let's... Oh, no, we don't want to do that engine. Then we can't do the engine. So let's do that. Uh, yeah, let's do some more oil. Do we, can we put the turbo in? Speed. Yes. All right, that's what we want to do. You've chosen two upgrades. Are you sure you want to proceed anyway? Uh, yeah, I think we've done what we're supposed to do. All right, so um, we've got to beat them again as well. So we didn't, but the we we failed the first continue. This is why the rival didn't sort of win. I think um, I think we had to cross the line second, then the rival would be one. But yeah, no, that works. That works. I think. All right, okay. He's got some sweet upgrades. So he's upgraded his car. As well, and look at this. There's a there's a there's a Sega machine, an outrun machine, on the right hand side. Look at all these people. Look at these people. So he's going to be nowhere near as easy in this new world where we are. Right. Okay. I do jump on my words sometimes, as I just did just previous race, getting myself a little bit tongue tied because you know what? This channel, this gentleman's Pixel Club channel, is not scripted. Oh, oh, Marlborough, you're not allowed to advertise those anymore. No, 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 no. Um, people will get a little bit upset there. Yes, let's advertise cancer sticks. Um, but you know what? People you're going to find in the near future are going to start banning vaping as well. That is my prediction. Vaping will be banned for new illnesses that it will give and new addictions that it will give. Vaping is the new evil. I've been saying this for years and years and years. But I promise you, it is. And it's going to be banned. It will be banned. And you heard it first. At the gentleman's pixel club and you can go back you know five years in the future or go forward five years in the future and then go back and remember but i told you it would be banned but no let's do a little bit of turbo here you know oh, 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 oh mother hell that broke the card didn't it but yeah as i said before i started ranting on about vapes um yes we are on script unscripted totally unscripted on this channel we make it up as we go along we talk along the fly we go on the journey 
um, together. So sometimes we drop points that we talk about, other times we come back to them as well. Other times we will mention things that we've already mentioned on the video, such as moist. You know, I'm certainly feeling a bit moist now because this car is really poor compared to his. Look how far he is ahead. You know, 300 meters, and this road is so bloody tight. You know, it, it probably needs moist pools to be able to slide around. And we are out of time. And we are out of time on there. But holy hell, that was fun. So you know what? I think we're probably going to call it a day on this particular track. So can we drop back? Can we drop back at all to the main menu? Uh, no, maybe not. Okay. Sod it. Sod it. We're just going to use up our lives. We're just going to use up our lives and see what else we can do. All 10 minutes too much. Oh, come on. Let's just go to the end. There we go. Oh, how do we cancel them? How do we cancel them? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Okay, so let's just... Okay, uh, okay. I, I really, really don't know how to cancel these. Right. Oh, what did we do wrong? Right, up. Ah. Okay, I'm a little bit stuck in this menu here. So, you know, we're, we're gonna try and go back a little bit. We're gonna try and go back. But you know, I'm a little bit stuck on how to go back. So, you know, bear with me, bear with me one moment. So we're gonna come back to this. So in the back of the screens here, what I'm doing is I'm just basically quitting this and going back. Cause I've got my panties all a little bit bunched up and I can't find my way back out of that menu. So at the moment we are reloading in the game. Here we go back to the game. And we're going to fire our way through this. Come on, chop, chop, chop. There we go. And we're going to go to start game. So we're now going to try the arcade version of this. So we're going to have Turbo Out Run a go. And we'll still be at an immediate level. But you know what? Let's pick you. And we'll do you in Snowy White. Snowy White. All right. And then, yep, auto for that. And, yep, we'll stick with those controls. And off we go. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Snowing. Oh, this is going to be fun. That's a nice weather effect it's got there. And I like the lorries and stuff like that. They are reminiscent of the old ones, you know. It it feels as it should. There he goes. Look, look, it did take him long to overtake. You know, what has he got under there? Has he got multiple squirrels peddling away very, very quickly as we go down the ice tunnel, you know, to try and overtake all of these... You know, this has got some serious Game of Thrones vibes as well. You know, if Outrun did Game of Thrones, you know, this would be the big wall, the cold wall. I can't remember what they used to call it, the frost wall or something. Who knows? Who cares? Um, but yeah, this is certainly a very, very cold area. All right, and little bubbles of snow in the road as well. Um, we've got a, 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 not a moist now because it's cold, so we've got a frozen motorbike go past us, so we can still see him in the distance. And look at that. He is still there. He is still there and he hasn't disappeared. Oh, he's disappeared now. Did he go too far? Did he go too far? No, he was still there just. Oh, no, we're out of time. Oh, how, how did we get that so wrong? How did we get that so wrong? All right. <laughs> that was awful. All right. Well, okay, we're going to go back to arcade. And yeah, let's do Outrun. So this is a work in progress version of Outrun at the moment. Um, so there might be bugs, there might be things there, but we will use the original car, or what I think is the original car, with the automatic gear, and we'll go from there. And after that, we've got one more mode to have a look at. So. Okay, so obviously uh, it, it wasn't as built up as that original Outrun, but it doesn't matter. We should get a chance to steer left and right on the roads. All right, so we're in a city now. We're in a city now. Uh, look at the speed of those lorries. God, you, you would have a shit fest if you were driving along and the lorries were going past that quickly, wouldn't you? Because you would know you'd only be one little tappity tap 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 away from death. All right, so the original outrun, if you kept going left, you could win the day just a little bit. And you could win the day just a little bit because those were the easier tracks. And there's another version of us passing by. Okay. And I'm not hitting the turbo yet. 
I'm steering with style as we go around a, a strange corner. Oh, break! Don't want to hit those buildings. You don't want to hit those buildings. Right, now then, now then, let's use the turbo to go as fast as we can. Is it going to work? Is it going to work? Well, we, we got the worst gears, so we got the worst gears. So, you know, we're in a position where, you know, <laughs> we have to drive with skill. All right, we're going to stay on the left-hand side now. There we go, there we go. And we're going to go to a new area. Look at that, look at that. Oh, you're joking, you are joking. Yes, aha. All right, well, that, that was so close, wasn't it? That was so close. That man has appeared to our left as well. Just to say, yeah, yeah, we're cutting that fine, weren't you? But what is that mini doing there? Is that Michael Caine trying to take a shortcut? Are those Italians with me? Is this the Italian job? But does that mini have gold in it? Right, we need to catch it because we could be rich. Oh, no, no, no. He, he's gone off elsewhere. All right. Now, Foyka of Remakes. This is a good remake. This is good, solid fun. Some remakes, like the Italian job, we're not that good. So yeah, Michael Caine reference is absolutely worthwhile doing here because the original film, The Italian Job, was great. The original Outrun was great. The new Italian Job was rather poor compared to it. But this, this, this love letter, this love letter to Outrun is absolutely awesome. All right, okay, let's go again. Let's go again. I did notice that people don't fly out cars then. Maybe that will come at a later date. Oh, oh, look at what kind of corner. Oh, holy hell, corner is this? And we run out of time. We run out of time. But no, that was fun. That was fun for game over. And we've got one more mode to have a look at. So, start game again. And we go to cruising. Oh, damage on and off. Well, we'll leave damage on. And who haven't we picked? Hello, you. Auto there. So, this is probably going to be a, a very, very bad little car. But, you know, we'll see, we'll see. And we're manually going to select the music here this time. We will have... What will we have? We'll have Magical Sound Shower. No, let's do Passing Breeze. Oh, oh, look at this, it's night. Oh, this is a bit different, isn't it? Look at the headlights. Oh, I like this. Outrun. Night racing. Right, so to the author of this great, this great, great conversion, I've already got a, a couple of faults here, but I will do in the final faults at the end of the video. But, oh, this is beautiful. Obviously, I wouldn't be night racing with sunglasses on. You know, that would get me into a little bit of difficulty. Fred the needle, not quite. He didn't see it that way, but it was okay. Oh, a bit close here, isn't it? So it looks like we've got a lot of stages there. Okay, all these signs here. But remember, this is a oh, oh look, the signs in the road. I got many. Got it. It's, it's like a British motorway here, isn't it? Signs in the road restricting the lanes. Um, I believe I believe this is random, the way it generates the tracks as well. Oh, I like the tunnel. So if you've ever been to British Airways um, to Heathrow, uh, you have a tunnel like this that leads to one of the terminals as well. They don't have Rocky Mountains on the right hand side because if they did, the airport would be, um, you know, probably closed down for a while because of planes flying into them. But yeah, no, this is alright. This is okay. Oh, holy hell! Oh, this reminds me of Test Drive. Anybody play Test Drive on the Commodore, Amiga, or the old Atari SC, the original Test Drive? Oh, holy hell, this feels just like Test Drive. Come on, come on, let's do this turn. All right. Okay, how are we doing, how are we doing, how are we doing around here? Let's do some turbo. And Fred, oh, I was going to Fred past that noise, but it changed lanes. Oh. Oh, did we knock that red one off the edge of the cliff? I hope not. Oh no, he's okay. He'll have insurance anyway if he crashes to the bottom. Alright, and we are approaching another checkpoint. I don't know how this ends, it's just a cruising. Oh, oh Jesus God. Alright, so we fell off and broke twice. Oh, come on, steer! Steer! Well, fortunately on this cruising mode, 
They haven't implemented time yet, because if they did, I would have been dead, but my ignition is malfunctioning. Everything is probably breaking. And I would think after going off a cliff like that, we've got a bit more trouble than just a broken ignition. All right, so what scenery have we got now? Okay, we've got a bit of turbo that we can do. A bit of turbo. So I should have read the instructions what the purpose of the cruising mode was but I think it's just to drive and have fun and pass cars with no restrictions and be the biggest the baddest driver you could possibly mean and baddest as in heroically bad not bad as in some of the driving that I've shown you I mean the engine sounds like it's absolutely creaking and breaking um interesting concept in this outline game where they basically introduced the garage I don't know if it's in turbo outline I don't think it is but they've introduced the garage to have things go wrong and things that you can repair so you know this is the love letter to outrun with more bells more whistles and oh, 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 oh the brake 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 oh look at those people don't stand so close if i clip you you are going to be dead if anybody looks at um reddit at all you know i look at reddit sometimes probably a bit too much something i should be looking at reddit and yeah reddit you have these people that go and watch standing car parks and watch cars do spins oh break 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 they do spins in, in car parks and the amount of people that get clipped by them and thrown away oh, oh what is this what is this are these poppy fields and you always know if someone's been hurt any any video that you watch on reddit or youtube or whatever it may be you know if you want to see whether a person's been hurt or not they have to have one thing happen to them and that is lose their shoes any of these clips that you see if people don't use their shoes generally they're not hurt that badly but if their shoes get thrown in wild directions as their body gets struck by something through something stupid they've been doing you could guarantee no shoes means probably a visit to the hospital all right let's go around here around here around here so if you ever find yourself in a hospital maybe in the outpatients or something like that and you see anybody with no shoes on you say to them what stupid thing did you do to lose your shoes I and mean, I may not be happy with that comment but it's certainly worth asking all right this again is like test drive it is very much like test drive that we're doing here all around the corner all oh okay uh somehow you survived that car what did you survive that where, where are you no uh, maybe we did knock him off and it's just how it looks but as i say remember this is uh, a work in progress an early build version 040 so you get a couple of things that don't always look right but this is free it costs zero of your earth pounds it really really does um all right okay is our car dying oh <gasps> it doesn't sound well the car doesn't sound well at all all right let's get to the next area um maybe we'll stop there look look I'm, I'm i'm accelerating as much as i can and it keeps dropping going slow yeah this must be because of all the damage we've caused Right, let's go around here, around here, around here. There's no other cars. We will definitely stop at the next checkpoint. Let's at least get to it. And again, if you've seen Test Drive on the Atari ST, the Commodore Amiga, the original version, you basically hire the car and you were racing down a road that looked very, very similar to what we've got on here. It really, really did. And we're approaching the new area. What have we got here? We've got palm trees. We've got palm trees and we've got the, the sea in the distance, I think. And you know what, we're going to ride off into the sunset and go from there. So, have I enjoyed myself on this game? Yeah, I absolutely have enjoyed myself. To the developer of this game, you've got something really, really rather special here. Uh, you asked for feedback originally at the beginning. I said scanners. Yes, it, I think you really do need a scanline option to give it an old well fairly look um the joystick control while racing and playing the game is a bit responsive i was using the keyboard by the way for the menus because the menus um seem to work better using the keys i did get a lost a little bit in terms of that engineer menu on when we, we when i had to basically just quit the game and restart I, and that was purely because you know i couldn't see a way to deselect very easily very quickly and these videos are done in a single take all the way through so that's why you have some of these challenges i loved I absolutely loved the opening you did 
of the cruising mode where you had it at night. So my request to you, would you do a Gentleman's Pixel Club mode, which would basically be a nighttime mode of the original tracks that you've got. You know, you've got them in the day, which is great. I don't know whether they flipped tonight at all, but holy hell, how that looked at night, it was absolutely great. Um, to anybody that's seen this video for the first time, anybody that's made it through to this particular part, you know, we're at the 30 minute mark or 30 minute and 23 seconds mark. Um, well done, congratulations for getting that far. Please sign up to the Discord. But no, seriously, I highly recommend this game. I really, really do. And this is one that, you know, we are going to go back and, you know, we're going to eventually pay for at some point. I will give quite a decent chunk of money towards the author for this. I just want to see a little bit more progression for what we've got. But this is one that I will be paying for. Even though it's a name your own price type game, I will be paying a very decent money for this when we're at the point where I think, yes, you've absolutely earned this. All of you stay safe. All of you take care. I'll see you soon. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because here you get the lot more about the retro video gaming. Thank you.